hi guys welcome back welcome back welcome back to my channel this is afobi one if this is your first time thank you for coming and if you're a returning subscriber thank you you know how it is thank you for stopping by again for another video today's video is going to be a vlog so we are going out guys we're going out to see apartments so that's what today is going to be about so in the other video which which is up here somewhere up here so in the other video i had uh, done like a tour to the dormitory so you saw what it looked like so i decided why not show you what other apartments look like like outside the school uh, accommodation that's what today's video is going to be about so let's uh let's get into the video and i would give you the details for today before we step out i would uh, tell you some important questions uh, that you need to ask before you rent any apartment in Poland and the things that you should look out for before renting an apartment. So Let me start first of all by telling you the different kinds of accommodations that we have here in Poland. So uh, you already saw what the dorm room looked like so that we have that. We also have the shared apartments. So basically shared apartments are uh, you have an apartment with different rooms and different people living together and sharing common spaces. So common spaces like the bathrooms, the toilets, the kitchen, and yeah, and probably the sitting room if there is any. So shared apartments usually go from, you can see shared apartments from 700, 800, 900, 1000, all the way to, I think one, two, you could have shared apartments this amount. I've even heard of shared apartments that go up to one five. So it all depends. So the next kind of apartment we would be looking at would be studio apartment or the one bedroom. So the studio apartment just has like, you have a square. Basically you have like a living area. Uh, so you have like a living area, you have a kitchen, you have your toilet, you have your bathroom, everything enclosed in one place. So uh, most times the living area would be, uh, would be a sofa that you can like open it up and turn it into a bed and you can sleep at night and then in the daytime you pack it up to look back like a sofa and yeah so that's what the arrangement of a one bedroom or a mini flat is or a, a studio flat sorry so usually these ones can cost you from 1200 all the way like 1200 is really a gamble like it's so difficult to find for 1200 but yeah you can find from 1200 all the way to as high as it goes so yeah so you so the next one well. would be like the normal it's two rooms three rooms and all that so now when you hear two rooms you should know that two rooms means you have a living room and you have a bedroom so yes you need to be sure because you would see two room apartment and you think you have like a two bedroom no this this is most times a one bedroom and a one living room with that same sofa that i told you about that can break into your bed so yeah you would have this so when you also see three rooms you should know that you have two bedrooms and one living room so yeah basically i'm sure you get the drift of what it what the housing is like questions that you should be asking so you uh, before you uh, you ask me where am i asking this question so yeah you can find apartments online so uh, you have Facebook market. This is like the most flexible the easiest one to find so we have like Facebook market We have Facebook groups where you also have uh, different um, people posting uh, housing and uh, Listings you can find housing listings on Facebook groups as well You can also find on OLX and other websites. I would uh, put it in the description box I'll put some uh, websites in the description box for you to go there and try to have a go and see what it's like so when you go on those pages all you need to do is filter your search to what you're looking for so you can filter it to either the number of rooms or the amount of money and all that and you will get the details now questions you should be asking when you are about to rent an apartment question number one you should always ask how long is the contract so how long is the contract so you need to know how long the landlord is willing to rent out the the place for so some landlords like to do short term stay so some landlords will tell you just three months some will tell you six months some will tell you one year it all depends on the landlord so you need to ask this question the next question to ask is how much is the media how much is the rent so you need to find out uh, that because some 
ads that you would see you would see the posting and you would see that it has a certain amount of money but when you scroll all the way down you would see that there's an extra money for your media so your media is your electricity and your water and your internet bills so you need to find out is the rent is, are the bills included in the rent or is it separate so you need to find out so this is also important the next thing to find out is how much is the deposit so now the deposit is an amount of money that the landlord will charge uh, the tenant so you need to pay this money first so you would pay your deposit and the landlord holds on to this money until your contract is terminated and then they return it to you they would return everything to you complete if you do not damage anything in their house so if they come and inspect when you're moving out and there are some damages they would have to take out the damages from your deposit so yeah we, we have this so make sure that when you're renting an apartment you have twice of the money that you're paying so twice of your rent you would need to show twice of your rent so if for example you get an apartment that is 1500 for the rent be sure to have at least three thousand zloty because you would have to pay either one five or two thousand it all depends there is no fixed price for deposit the landlord makes the rules for how much you need to pay so you need to ask these questions so things to consider you need to consider what kind of apartment is this is this a shared flat is this what kind of what, what kind of apartment am i getting myself into the next thing you need to find out is uh, are pets allowed so if you have like uh a dog or a cat so you need to find out if your landlord uh, allows because some landlords put that no pets allowed so you need to find out if they would accommodate your pet as well the next thing to the third thing to be looking out for is the proximity of your apartment to uh, either the city center or the places that you would most frequently visit so like work school so how close uh, how long does it take me to get from my apartment to work? How long does it take me to get to school? So you need to ch uh, check this as well. Another thing to consider is what is the proximity to the tramway, the tram stop? How far is my building from where the bus station is or where the tram station is? This is important because on the days where you're coming back from, uh, like you've, you've had a long day and maybe you don't drive. So you come all the way, you need to stop at the tram station Oh, sorry at the tram stop and then you'd have to walk all the way to your house so this is important you need to be sure that you need to be sure before you get uh, yourself into that kind of situation so how far is it from the bus stops or the tram stops you also need to find out if you are someone who drives you need to find out about parking uh, do they have a uh, space for parking you need to find out this i don't drive so i don't really have so much information about that so i'm not usually looking for uh parking spaces at least not yet so yeah so you need to find out about this and then the final the last but not the least thing to watch out for is um what is uh what is the nearness of your building to the grocery shops so where where, where would you be doing your grocery do you have a beer drunker around do you have a lidl do you have an aldi so you need to find out how close your shops are to this apartment so you don't have to be living somewhere and walking a distance just to get stuff for your uh, for the kitchen or for your house so these things are important things to note so how much do they cost hmm. the pricing of houses differs it depends on the location and the building and the infrastructure also you need to find out what they have in the apartment do they have a washing machine do they have a dishwasher is there a microwave these are things you also need to find out is there heating of course i think most houses have heating but yeah you need to find out about this as well so um for as the number of rooms go higher the prices go higher so guys like i said in the beginning of this video you're actually going to see some houses out. i'll give you a visual representation of what i'm talking about so we're going to be seeing two houses today we'll see a two-bedroom apartment so this two bedroom it just has two bedrooms and then we'll see a three room apartment it has two bedrooms and one living space so guys you come along with me i would show you i'll tell you the cost then i would also leave some information in the description box below that's it for now so just come along with me and let's go house hunting that is the entrance and then you go that way 
It has an elevator, although we're just going to the first floor. Yeah, you made it look. Like. Mm -hmm. And outside there's like a garden. Can you? Yeah. Show me. So there's like a backyard. Um, I personally don't go out here much, but if you do, you could, of course. Um, Is that like a bed or would we use the sofa to? Um, Mm -hmm. But um, like I didn't want it, so I asked this, the owner to switch out with the sofas. But I think if you talk to him, you could request the bed, and he'd probably be able to bring it back. Okay. Okay. There's a dishwasher here as well. Yes. I'm making a video. No, sorry. No okay. Sorry, it's a little messy. I'm no, really it's okay. Uh, no, I? Go ahead. Okay. Oh. And that door also leads to the to the outside. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Oh, there's a door here. Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, you you keep it you had to yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then this is the bathroom. Okay. And hmm. it looks nice. Are these like uh cupboards? Uh. Okay. Uh, no, I'm working now. I was okay. studying before, but now I'm done, so... Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like you mentioned... Uh, sorry, let me put this out. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, so you mentioned that I can uh, speak with the landlord about getting a different bed here? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, probably because he did have the bed here, but I just asked to switch. So he might be able to work that out. Okay. Yeah. So, um, like you mentioned, uh, 2,000, everything 2, is... 2,500. sorry. Everything yeah. is inclusive. Yes. Oh. Okay. Yeah, but um, Wi-Fi, you would have to buy separately. That was not included. Okay, yeah. okay. So, you need to buy Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. And Donna speaks really good English. Like, he's easy to communicate with. Mm-hmm. But um, I do have like some other people that are looking at the apartment and are interested as well. Mm -hmm. So guys, I'm heading to apartment number two. And it's quite a distance, if you ask me. But let's see what the apartment looks like. It's a calm neighborhood, but it's quite a distance. I came down, I came down from the bus and I've spent at least <laughs> I've spent at least seven minutes walking. So let's see what it looks like on the inside. Hmm. Ah, okay. Okay. Hello, sorry, I'm making a video because I'm okay. Okay, so this is the kitchen. Yes, here we have the kitchen. Uh, everything is new uh, because the flat was totally renovated. Mm -hmm. So we have a new dishwasher, fridge, refrigerator. Uh... No, okay, yeah, brand new. Your destination is on the left. I'm already here. <laughs> I was using <laughs> GPS. Uh, washing machine. Mm -hmm. uh, so 
you can. Uh, this is the door to the, uh, the staircase main. inside, but it's closed, so you don't have to use it. Uh, but this is yours. This is the, your storage next to the next to the kitchen. Uh, here is the bathroom. Oh. It's also totally new. All the appliances, everything is new. Mm -hmm. Uh, here is a dining table. I will be taking off this and uh, cleaning it, but here can be a dining area. This is the first, uh, the first uh, bedroom. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't come with a bed, so I would need to buy... No, we have a bed. Uh -huh. If you want a bed, uh, we can provide you with one. Okay, 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 sorry, it's full. It's full? Yeah, that's... So it will be empty. Yeah, <laughs> of course. So okay. it is only for your use because upstairs there's living uh, the owner who is not living in Wrocław. Mm -hmm. So generally the garden is for your use. Hmm. The owner can also provide you with uh, some curtains or stuff like that. Yeah. And here is the second curtain. So here there is a bed. Okay. Okay, it looks it looks good. Thank you. Yeah, I, I see. Nearly renovated. Yeah, Everything is still is you. You brand. Have an alarm. Here is an alarm detector. Uh, here you have a video clock. So when someone is calling outside, you can see uh, you can see who is who is calling. There is a camera outside. Oh, uh, what else? What else? What else? Huh. The alarm detectors are of everywhere. Course. If you need any more furniture, it's no problem because we have a lot of furniture, so we can we can put it here. Uh, we can change I don't know, the table, the, the sofa. It's, it, it's up to you. Okay. And it keeps the heater and okay. the hot water. And okay. it's also new. So you will be paying only for the hmm. So this is all the space that you can use. Wow. Yeah. During summer it would be probably nice. Yeah, it would be really nice during yeah. summer. <laughs> Alright guys, you've seen the both houses and this brings us to the end of our apartment tour. The both houses are about the same price, so both go for 2500 yeah 2500 so if two people are to rent this apartment they would pay 1250 each and yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this vlog do not forget to subscribe do not forget to subscribe guys and the sun is already going down and it's time for me to head back home i will see you guys in the next video i wish you a happy new year ciao